Pavan 
On such a fine day, I want to describe two of my favorite topics, that is sciences combined and history. Wait a minute, what if today's assembly can be based on these two topics? Well then, today's assembly will be based on the most influential people with regard to science and politics. We look at how these people have set the ideals of man. And they have set examples and we'll also look at how a person can go bad. Because this assembly will contain both positively influencing people and negatively influencing people. And we'll also provide some juicy backstory. So without any further ado, we sit back and relax and enjoy this assembly. Let's begin with someone recent, shall we? Throughout the history, the men called for new technologies and strategies. And now, they are found solving complex equations or just maybe studying simple things. The first example will be Henry Ford. Now, all of you know him for different reasons. Primarily, because he is the founder of the Ford Company. And there is a lesser known reason, which is he revolutionized the automobile industry. How? Let me explain. All this began when Mr. Ford visited a bunch of place. He noticed something, something which changed how the automobile industries worked. He noticed that the butchers used to use a rope, a very long one, and there was a piece of meat kept on it. The butchers had to simply grab the piece near them and the whole rope was shifted. And this was the Eureka moment for him. He thought, what if we could have this efficient solution in our automobile industry? And yes, he did. He invented a way in which each car could get assembled in a line. And then the conveyor belt shifted. The men stayed in their spots and the automobiles reached to them. And this was known as the assembly line. And this was the breakthrough of the century. Henry Ford forever influenced the automobile industry and his mark is still present today. Okay, that was something positive. But if the entire world was positive, would we have a second world war? You know where I'm getting to this. Our next most influential person is Adolf Hitler. He was the dictator of Nazi Germany. But today, I am not here to talk about his unwise decisions. Instead, I will talk about how he influenced the whole of Germany. First, let me give you some backdrop. Adolf was the son of Elwa and Clara Hitler. Studies number one, extracurricular activities number one. But if he was such a bright kid, then why did he become the Hitler we know today? Well, Hitler and his father had tense relationships. He was also disturbed by the loss of his younger brother, Edmund. Soon, he was on the streets. And the World War I approached and Hitler decided to take a part in it as a soldier. He also created his own party, the Nazi Germany. With their fiery deeds and speeches, Hitler seized the control of the entire Germany and created an impression that was unmatched since the past century. Next, to our third most influential person in the world, according to us, it is Mikhail Gorbachev. Now, many of you might not know about Mikhail Gorbachev, but he was what we call a game changer. You see, the Soviet Union was dealing with a crisis. Highly oppressive rulers came and went by, like Lenin, Stalin, Khrushchev and Brezhnev. But Gorbachev was the difference. He was not the one who used terror. 
to reign. He reformed the Soviet Union. His influence was great. The public started to love him. Some examples for his ideal can be the campaign of Glasnost and Perestroika. This is allowed. More openness and restructuring of the Soviet Union. He signed the INF Treaty with America during the Cold War. His greatest act, however, was to let the Eastern Bloc to choose its future. He allowed Eastern Bloc to hold election and operation by the Soviet Union on the Bloc ended. Eventually, the Berlin Wall fell and freedom prevailed. Have you ever wondered how one can be so powerful that he or she can influence a whole monarchy, a king or a tsar? Well, here is when the story begins. But there is a slight disclaimer. If you love your equations and theorems, do not freak out because this story is slightly out of the reach of science. The man we are talking about is Grigory Rasputin. So this was the time when Russia was slightly gaining control. But the son of the Tsar named Alexia had a disorder named Haemophilia in which the blood didn't clot. And the Tsar got a word of Rasputin's magical healing powers. And he called him and took your son. There is no elaborated process of how he did it, but some sources say that he just stopped the aspirin which actually worsened the condition. Later on, when Nicholas was the commander-in-chief of the Russian army, the Tsar's wife and Rasputin slightly controlled the country. And this is how, though being from a magician, he made his name on the list. Again, we we'll look towards a more positive example. This time, let us take a recent example. Someone who was extremely smart. Someone with knowledge who cracked the foundation of physics. Someone named Albert Einstein. Now, you might be wondering, how is he influential? Well, let me explain. Albert Einstein, as you all pretty much know, he is a genius physicist. And though he did not influence the daily life of human beings, he certainly boosted their development with his ideas. The theory of relativity, both the special and the general, gave rise to new minds. And our learning prospered. At one instant, one of our Indian physicists went to Albert Einstein regarding a new discovery. Albert Einstein, without wasting a single moment, approved it and even gave some additional input, giving the world the Bose-Einstein condensate. Einstein was a revolution to the universe of science. Here are some major contributions. Quantum theory of light, mass-energy relation, the general theory of relativity, the special theory of relativity, Brownian motion, Manhattan project. There was another man who invented something that changed the world. Some people also think that he was the reason why negative impacts are prominent in this world. He is Alexander Graham Bell. You know him, right? The guy who invented a telephone call and sent a stupid test message to a friend and boom! He made the first telephone. Well, now you might be wondering if he invented a telephone, why he is associated with negative impacts? Well, if Bell never even made a telephone, there would be no one to invent a proper cell phone. Which means there would be no Apple and Xiaomi and people would not fall into the bottomless void of the cell phones. So, some parents might curse at Grambel for their child is using his or her phone way too much. Our next person is Marie Curie, the famous, renowned and my personal favorite scientist 
She is the one whom I consider one of the most influential personality of all time. But first, let's get to know her backstory. She was born in Poland at the time when women were not necessarily supported. The society used to regard women as people who do home chores and men as someone who go out and work. Then how did she achieve this great feat of becoming an amazing scientist? Well, she was excellent at school with the studies. But as higher education was not allowed and permitted in Poland, she went on to enroll for the Floating Academy, which is a secret university which allows women to study. Later, she got a degree and went on to France, where gender inequality was less comparatively. There, she met Pierre Curie and they made many scientific discoveries along with the famous one of radium. In 1903, two people were nominated for the Physics Nobel Prize, Pierre Curie and Henry Becquelin. Pierre took a stand and claimed that Marie Curie was also a great aid in the research. Thus, three candidates held the Physics Nobel Prize, the Curies and the Becquelin. This also made Marie Curie the first ever female Nobel laureate. This highly influenced the society that women can achieve great feats too. Her scientific discoveries contributed to science. And then yet she achieved yet another Nobel Prize in 1911, this time in chemistry, making her the one and only human ever to achieve two Nobel Prizes in two different fields of sciences. Wow, that was very informative and gripping, although a little overwhelming. From World War dictators to Russian Tsars to revolutionary chemistry and physics scientists, it truly was a roller coaster ride any history or science lover would love to be on. Coming back to our own India, please rise to the national anthem. Assembly Saavdan. Jana gana mana adhina ayaka jaya hai Bharat bhagya vidhata Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dravida Utkala Vanga Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Utchala Jaladhi Taranga Tava Shubha Name Jage Tava Shubha Aashish Maage Gahe Tava Jaya Gatha Jana Gana Mangala Daayak Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Assembly Vishram Have you ever got lost in thought chains that start with a simple question but soon turn philosophical and profound? Well, it happens to me quite often. Here we have Manat Chaudhary with a point to Socho which I am sure will trigger a new chain of thoughts. Thank you. You know, oftentimes in life, we're confronted with these situations where we have an idea, um, say for example, a business idea or something that we think we should do, but we're not confident about it. And we start looking for help from others, support from others, but then we realize there's nobody else that, you know, actually believes in an idea. And what you do then is what defines a true character, a true personality. Do you give in to that desperation? Do you give in to the fact that nobody else is accepting you and so you won't go ahead with it? Or do you have enough resolve in your personality or character to go ahead with what you planned? And the point is you may not always get success with what was, what was in your mind. You may not always succeed with your instincts. But what you will do when you have enough faith in yourself is discover a new idea which you can build upon in the future months, in the future years that will eventually lead to success because 
there's one thing that I have discovered over the past um, few years and that's that you are never wrong uh, when you think from within, when you think instinctively. And so for these, uh, for these situations, I like to uh, remember a couple of lines from Robert Frost's poem, The Road Not Taken, and the lines are, Two, ro two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I chose the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. So do you have enough courage and enough resolution and enough self-confidence in your nature to trust your own ideas? That is your point to Sojo for the day. That was one deep PTS. All good things come to an end and so does this assembly. I hope you all had a good time learning about influential people and how they changed the world. You too can change the world, the world around you, however small the scale be, by influencing others. The music team will now play a mellifluous exit song. Stay safe and keep thinking. तेरो नाम हे परमेश्वर तेरो नाम सुमिरल करते सुबह शाम सुमिरल करते सुबह अपने मन में है अंधियारा कर दे तू जियारा यह रास्ता मेरा फूलों से भर दे सारा पहुंच सकूं मैं तेरे पहुंच सकू मैं तेरे धाम हे परमेश्वर तेरो नाम हे परमेश्वर दर्शन की प्यासी आँखों को अब तो दर्श दिखा दे दर्शन की प्यासी आँखों को अब तो दर्श दिखा दे अंग लगा कर जन्म जन्म की पीड़ा शाम मिटा दे अंग लगाकर जन्म जन्म की पीड़ा शाम मिटा दे 
बन जाओ मैं भी घन बन जाओ मैं भी घन